The White House and congressional Republicans are monitoring stimulus money to see how federal aid packages are helping Americans manage their lives in a COVID-19 world. But House lawmakers say now is the time to spend even more. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. Eric. That's right, Tracy. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is telling her colleagues now is the time to think big, to spend, because interest rates are so low. But Republicans that I spoke with say, let's tap the brakes, hold on. They say all Democrats want to do is bankrupt the country. I think that Nancy's word big is probably uh, the right description for the moment, and there'll be a lot of discussions this week. In a letter to her colleagues Sunday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi shared her Mother's Day reflections, calling this time a, quote, momentous opportunity for House lawmakers to meet the needs of all Americans. Democrats' wish list for the new COVID-19 aid bill includes another batch of direct payments to Americans, approximately $1 trillion for state and local governments, and as much as $25 billion to prop up the U.S. postal system. And Democrats insist it will not include liability protections. But the Senate Majority Leader is just as insistent. That if there is another bill that passes in the Senate, it will include the liability protections. Republican Representative Jody Heiss sits on the House Oversight Committee. He tells me Democrats are addicted to spending. They are used in this pandemic as an opportunity to push their own radical liberal agenda on Americans. And as House Speaker Nancy Pelosi works behind the scenes to unify her caucus on this coronavirus bill, Congressman Heiss also criticizes her for pushing forward on this bill without input from Republicans. We don't know what's in it, and yet we're expected to vote for it, all under the guise of protecting the American people from the pandemic. That is not, that is irresponsible, what Speaker Pelosi is doing. House Leader Congressman Steny Hoyer says that the soonest that lawmakers in the House could vote on a next relief bill would be Friday. That's because lawmakers need at least a 72-hour notice to get back to Washington, D.C. so they can vote in person. Tracy. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reporting for us tonight. Thank you, Eric.